Hey guys, it's Mitch. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my little Pleione Praycox that's blooming for the first time for me. It's sitting here on my little windowsill garden with all of my little cactus plants. And it's nice and sunny this morning, so the sunbeams are just coming in here. This is a blue, beautiful little fall blooming pleione. A lot of the other pleonies I have are spring blooming, so they go dormant in the fall and winter and then bloom first thing in the spring before their leaves <clears throat> develop. So this one is a little bit different because the leaves drop off in the fall and then it blooms and then it goes dormant and then it starts growing again in the spring. This one has a really pretty smell actually, I noticed because it's in the sunlight. Some orchids are like that when the sun is shining on them. Oh, excuse me, then they uh, have a nice scent. So this is, this one has a really strong scent actually. It's very sweet, almost like honey. Has a really beautiful little frilly lip purple dots and that yellow blotch in the middle and the color is really nice. The bulb that it's growing out of is like this warty looking kind of purpley black bulb. It has a very strange shape kind of like Pleione maculata if any of you are familiar with that. A little Pleione orchid it also blooms in the fall. These are also called windowsill orchids because you can grow them on your windowsill. Most of them need a like, cool period in the winter where it's like zero to five degrees for a long period of time. But this one, um, <clears throat> no, it, it can't go that low. It can go to about five or ten degrees over the winter. So I'll keep this one inside where it's sheltered. But a lot of my other pleonies, I either leave them outside in a sheltered location or else I put them in the fridge for the winter for like uh, three to four months. This one is just in sphagnum moss right now. I only stuck it in there because it's easy and actually I'm not even watering it. It's just to hold the bulb in place while I let the flower stalk develop. And now, once it's done blooming, I will unpot it and pot it into what it's going to grow in for the next season, which will be next spring, summer, and fall. Pleonies are pretty easy to grow. I'm just learning how to grow them. This is the first time that uh, this one has bloomed for me. So I'm pretty excited about that because it means I did something right. They come from, I think this one is from somewhere in China and close to the Himalayas. So it grows in the mountains. They have a nice wet season in the summer and then in the winter it goes into a nice long dry period. I mean in nature obviously they still get a little bit of rain but they dry off quite quickly so. Anyway, that's it for this little orchid. Just wanted to share the nice bloom and I'm excited that it actually did bloom and flower for me. So that again, that's Pleione Precox. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.